Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I'm just gonna play Isaac today. I was gonna play Kane, and then I was like, you know what, I wanna play Isaac, because I always just wanna play Isaac. Let's be real with ourselves. That's really unfortunate. That's like really, really unfortunate. Seeing that as our first item means that chances are I'm not refreshing the pool. Now, I can't decide whether or not... Nah, I'm just gonna reroll it. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe we'll come back and regret getting quad shot, but I, I'm fine with getting quad shot. Quad shot's fun. So now we shoot four tiers, they do full damage. There's a lot of confusion around quad shot and triple shot still. They don't lower your damage unless you already have Polyphemus, and they only lower the per tier damage. So normally without quad or triple shot and just having Polyphemus, your tiers are doing Okay, Polyphemus' effect is damage plus four, and then times two. Okay, so there you go. That's the normal effect. Then you pick up Quad Shot or Triple Shot, and each individual tier is doing damage plus five. So as long as you're hitting with two tiers, you're going to do more damage than if you didn't have it. But that's bad when you have an item that only hits with one thing, like Brimstone, Technology, Technology 2, or uh, Mom's Knife. But Tech, or not Technology. Quad Shot and Triple Shot themselves alone are not damage downs. You're actually, you're doing full damage with each tier that you shoot. I hope that clears it up at least somewhat, and oh my god. Oh my god. Why don't I be a little more bad? It feels, looks like I haven't played Isaac in ages, but I played it yesterday. Played it every day. So let's just not talk about that. I do want to tears up. And there's only one location for the secret room, and it's right here. What? Oh, God. Are you telling me that... It, okay, it's down here, and that means that the top secret room is right here. There you have it. Fine. So the top secret room, since uh, this is a frequent question recently, because I guess getting lots of new viewers, welcome everyone. Top secret room is adjacent to only one other room, unless the second room it's adjacent to is the normal secret room. So it counts as an end room as well. So there are just, that's maybe tough to apply without having had some experience with it, but that's really all there is to it. It's an end room, it's only adjacent to one room, unless the second is the top secret room, or is the normal secret room, just like normal end rooms. Like, it's just straight up a normal end room that you just don't know the location of until you look a little bit. And in some situations, it's it has to be in a certain location. So there I, I lost most of my Devil Room chance. That's unfortunate. This is a fresh session. I just opened the game. So there's no Angel Room possibility or anything. So uh, it's just a Devil Room right now. There we go. That was very well handled, besides the fact that I've already taken damage. Uh, so anyway... Of course it's famine. But, um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying, really. Oh yeah, devil and angel rooms. So, to get an angel room to be able to spawn, you need to see a devil room since you've opened the game. And in the current run, you need to have not traded any health for a deal with the devil. And that includes stealing things. You can't steal things, either. So, other than that, the Devil Room chance is determined by a number of things. But the most important and almost always relevant things, well, actually always relevant things, when possible for a Devil Room to exist, are that you don't take red hard damage on the floor, which is worth 0.99, and that you don't take red hard damage on the boss, which is worth, worth 0.35. You start with a base 1% chance, or 0.01, if we want to not confuse anyone due to the fact that um, it's weird having over a hundred percent. So, uh, oh wow, that's a really good curse room, I like that. Uh, so you start with 0.01, take no red heart damage on the floor and you get 0.99 more, so that puts you to 1.00, which means that as long as that is met, you're guaranteed the devil room, unless a couple other things that I'm about to get to. Then, you fight the boss, and if you don't take red heart damage against the boss, you get 0.35, which means you can have 1.35 there, just from those two things. And uh, if you take red hard damage against the boss, that counts as both against the boss and the floor, so you go back down to your 
assuming that these are the only two things that we're talking about. Because there are other things that affect the chance, but they're not relevant at the moment since I don't have any of them available. And so I'm just not going to go into them. Alright, we'll make another loop because I'm just going to not use a bomb for that. Oh, that was close. Boom. I don't have a key. So what can I do about that? I can find the secret room in which we will hopefully find a bunch of money for a bomb. I hope that the secret room is here. I want it to be here. Dang, that was my second guess too. I thought it would be here. But I wanted it to be next to the shop. <sighs> okay, we get Hanged Man. That's really good. Transcendence. Why do I keep doing that? That's the card. Transcendence is the item. I'm having problems in my brain. So now I can get bunches of money, I guess. Or one cent. That's fine. Uh, anyway, beyond that, as far as Devil Rooms are concerned. Yes! Um, if you got a Devil Room or Angel Room on the previous floor, then your chance is multiplied by 0.25. So that means that if you have that 1.35, you're down to 0.34 or so. Which obviously is no good. But then, there are the other things that you can do to influence it, and that's not what we're into right now. Oh yes, all stats up. I like it a lot. Now that I'm flying, I don't care about speed. Note, uh, note that. So anyway, um, last floor, you earned one. Even if you didn't go in, 0.25 multiplier. If you didn't earn one two floors ago, so not the floor after, but the floor after that, then you have a 0.5 multiplier. And beyond that, you have your normal chance. Curse of the Labyrinth kind of sucks. We lose a shop, we lose a Devil Room possibility, but this is the special case that I was going into, uh, or was about to go into, where pretty much if you have... Um, so say I had earned it on the last floor, Earned a Devil Room or Angel Room, but of course it can't be an Angel Room yet since I haven't seen a Devil Room since opening the game this time. Uh, but say I earned a Devil Room on the last floor, and this is the next floor, you'd say, oh yeah, this is totally a um, 0.25 multiplier then, right? No, that is not right. XL floors count as the second of the two floors in the game, and so this is Caves 2, and we went from Cellar 2 to Caves 2. And what that means is that we skipped a floor, so we'd only have a 0.5 multiplier this time. But of course that means we lose one whole chance at a Devil Room in the first place. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's better, just that you're more likely to get it. So that's all there is to it. And then another thing about this, missing this particular shop that we did, the Caves 1 shop, sucks because that was the last shop that was guaranteed not to be Greed. So if we end up wanting to go to this shop, it's a 50% chance that Greed's there unless we find another mini boss somewhere. So there you go. I think that about explains all the stuff. Alright, let's take this pill. Bombs are key? Sure, I'll take it. This is, doesn't affect me very much at all. And by much at all, I mean literally it doesn't affect me. Alright. So since we found the bosses right away, there are two bosses of course. Two item rooms as well. This is the Gertie that can't spawn enemies, you can tell because it's darker. Okay, I need to kill that thing. There we go. So it can't, wait, it can't shoot, it can only spawn enemies. God, my brain is not my brain today. I'm sorry about that. Let's get on with it though. Quad shots doing nice work. We did get a small damage up from the halo. So that's nice. At least it's something. I like getting a little, a little something. And since Gertie doesn't shoot at us in this situation, we had a very easy time there. Range up. Well, here's the thing. You don't want to reroll that because this could happen. So basically, if I want to reroll that item, I have to pick up Little Chad. Because on an XL floor, the boss pool, the item pool of both bosses is that of the boss pool, is that of the second boss. So if we had fought the Fallen here, I would love to reroll that range up because we get a Devil Room item. If we had uh, gotten a Horseman here, I wouldn't want to reroll it because I don't want an extra cube of meat. Note that this does work both ways, so bosses like little Chad, or like Chad, that have guaranteed drops, don't, um, you can reroll those guaranteed drops into whatever else the second boss is. So like you could reroll a cube of meat to a Devil Room item if you fight the Fallen. Of course this can't be the Fallen on this floor because you have to have seen a Devil Room in the run. In the, no, in the playing session, sorry. 
If you've seen a Devil Room in the playing session, you can fight the Fallen on any floor. First or second floor, totally, is possible. I've done it. Um, what was I saying? Oh god. I need to fix lag at the moment. Alright, let me just... I keep forgetting to do this. Oh wait, I can't. Never mind. Got a file transfer going. So I'm just gonna have to keep tabs on that and prevent things from happening. To the best of my ability. Sorry about that. So anyway, um, yeah, if you fight a horseman and then you fight the fallen, you can reroll the cube of meat into a devil room item. If you fight a horseman and then a normal boss, you can reroll the cube of meat to a normal boss item. So it, it goes both ways, basically. And I do want the lump of coal, especially since I'm going to be picking up uh, that range up. It's, it's going to be that much more useful. Note that no all stats ups contain um, shot speed ups. None of them do. So range up, we can shoot further, or actually our tears are on screen for more frames. And Lump of Coal makes it so that our tears do more damage based on how long they are on the screen, time-wise, in frames. 0.14 damage every frame, up to a max at 150 frames of 21 damage, which is huge. So it looks like we're going to find both of the item rooms in the exact same place and we're not going to get to reroll one of them. That's a thing that I'm expecting. So we'll see if I can be proven wrong, hopefully. I would like to be proven wrong. Alright, oh god. Another one. Oh, but that's the file transfer that I need. Alrighty then. Back to work. Sorry about that, I really am. Alright. Cool. I guess we are going to have to find the item rooms in the same place. I have an extra key. I can go to the shop, see if it's greed. <laughs> Didn't realize I had 15 cents. That might have been in that, like, last room. But it's something to reroll. Maybe we'll get a habit. But remember, we did already reroll the D20. We didn't use it, so it's possible that we could refresh the pool and get it again, but I wouldn't count on that at all. I never count on that. Oh, oh I wasn't in time. I tried to reroll before the room finished, so I'd still get a ch uh, charge, a room's worth of charge, but I was too late. That's sad. It's very sad to me. I would have appreciated it m very greatly. So yeah, Little Chad's there, but I can't reroll it. It's still going to be Little Chad. So note my 15 cents currently don't matter, but I do have the shop to reroll. So the ladder is actually worthless, because it allows us to bridge one block wide gaps, and we already can fly. So that's, again, worthless, obviously. I do want X-ray vision, however. That allows us to walk into the secret and top secret rooms just for free. As long as we go next to them, we know exactly where they are, just like that, and they're open to us. If there is a um, an arcade, we're in good shape, because we've got lots of health. We're going to get a blood bag for sure, pretty much, and it'll be a wonderful time. So currently we are still in the I'm going to reroll the shop territory. And there's probably going to be another room in all honesty for us to get another charge for our D6 that is. So I'm I'm good. I'm good with this. So much backtracking. I really want more speed now that I can fly. I really don't mind having high speed. 9 more cents. And no, I'm not leaving fires even if I get the habit. We'll worry about that when it happens. Hmm. Coin purse. Um, bombs are key as a pill, and I'd really like that, but I don't know if I'm going to take that chance. We'll see how bad the item room is if I can uh, get to the item room before having a reroll and having to go back to the shop. But then again, there's probably not enough left on the floor for me to get more than one extra reroll, so I can, I can probably afford to just not do stuff. Then again, here we are, looking like I'm wrong. Oh my god, there are so many rooms. Maybe we do get two rerolls. So I'll take that chance, I guess, uh, rerolling the shop and maybe not getting to reroll the item room. Item rooms have been good to me so far. Oh. I don't think we're getting another reroll. I really don't. The Joker. Okay, I already went on this floor, but next floor I can use this if uh, I don't get... If I don't earn the Devil Room. So, of course, this just teleports me to the Devil or Angel Room. And I guess uh, I skipped... 
yeah, taking the lump of coal counts as skipping a deal with the devil, so I can still get I can get an angel room next floor, which would be really nice. So I'm kind of hoping very intensely for a habit right now, so that I can hopefully force Sacred Heart. It's been a while since I've even had one. We're not even considering like six right now. I'm just gonna touch that so I don't have to deal with it appearing from a beggar if that's possible. Because I don't know, since recently discovering how certain things don't apply to pools in the same way, I wonder. I wonder about things. So I'd rather just get it out of the rotation completely and not have to worry. So now we go up and find the other item room finally, eventually, one of these days, and it'll be great. There it is. Oh my god, we might get another reroll. So I'm hoping that this is just a really good room. I can't believe I got hit there. A really good item room so I can reroll more in the shop. Because that would please me a lot. And I like all the keys we're getting. So definitely not another room there, which means I'm just going to do that last room because it's not going to get me another charge. Cancer. That's a significant increase to our fire rate. I like that a lot right now. So I'm, I'm totally down for that. It uh, subtracts two from the delay between our tier, uh, our fire rate. Like, so it's not a two times multiplier as many people say. In some situations it is, in most situations it's not, because the lower your delay is already, the better you're going to like, the more you're going to get out of Cancer. I will take Little Gish simply because it's good. I like it as a familiar. It shoots slowing tears, and I like that. But also because not only is it acceptable, it lets me go to reroll the shop again. Which maybe is everything I've ever wanted. I'm sad that there's no um, arcade here. And I don't know why there's not. Because the top secret room is there. So there should have been an arcade unless I entered this floor with under five cents, which I guess is possible. All right, Book of Revelations. Use it once and leave. Since there's no room for me to clear, the boss room isn't going to reevaluate to a horseman. Oh, wait, no, never mind. XL Floor's uh, Book of Revelations doesn't cause you to fight a horseman. It's just how it, it doesn't do that. The reason I don't take Little Chad, by the way, is because it, if I get the relic later, for example, uh, it makes it so that it drops less frequently, because dropping familiars stack to drop less frequently. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I have the extra key for that. Tammy's head. It's another thing to reroll. That's mostly what I'm concerned with right now. In the item room, we find Halo Flies, which I absolutely desire. It's going to give me two more orbitals. Those are flies, so they only... They block tiers, they damage fly-type enemies, whereas the cube of meat blocks tiers and damages any enemy on contact. Oh my god, it slipped right through, and I dodged right into it like a fool. But having three orbitals is excellent. It's going to make a nice big difference for us. So it sucks that we have Curse of Darkness, but at least it's not an XL floor. Because that would be the worst, essentially. I'm not a fan of XL floors. I want to check the top secret room, just see what's in it. It's probably a smart thing to do. So I'll be re-rolling Tammy's head. Oh. Okay, that changed to a pill, but then it, it was still the thing. So I'm not going to worry about that. I noticed it that time. Uh, I wanted to see, though, if that was actually a thing. Because, like, everyone points out a million times how if you uh, get an item to generate often enough, it's uh, going to appear first off as the sad onion. And then everyone's like, oh my gosh, did you see the sad onion? Yeah, that's just item generation is weird and goes through the first item, I guess. Pretty fly. Oh, good. Well, that's going to give us another orbital fly, except that we can only have three orbitals. So that doesn't help too much. Because I'm not uh, I'm not going to get a level 3 Meat Boy. It's just not something I do, even when it's an opportunity. I got a level 4 and a level 3 once, and that's uh, that's as much of the levels beyond 2 as you're seeing from me. Probably. What's this pill? Tears up, that's excellent. And then that means Cancer is that much more effective. So since we already have Little Gish, Gish is going to drop a normal boss item for us. Just That's just what's going to happen. So that's good. Because I, I do like normal boss items. Especially when they're pentagram. Hint, hint, gish. Hint, hint. Alright. Gish dies. We get the coin purse. We get a devil room that I'm not very interested in, but we'll definitely reroll and take the mark for a damage up and a speed up. I'll blow up the rock behind the statue in case it's a tinted rock. There's nothing, nothing special about it. If it is a tinted rock, it just would amuse me. And Guppy's paw is totally not worth it. Uh, so we don't need to use the Joker at the moment. 
And I kind of do want the coin purse. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take it. Good. Range down. That's not good. Bombs are key is an absolutely good thing. And... Telepills. So I have no idea where I am. Except next to the shop that can't be greed. So that's a thing. Unless this is a library. No. And I kind of... Uh, I'll buy the soul heart for sure. I'm gonna reroll the compass. Let's be honest. I'm gonna go for the habit. Because that's what I do. Excuse me, Nickel. I need you. I need you in my life. Normal challenge room. I'll visit it, just to check up, see if there's anything I want in there. All right. Nope. Even with 13 keys, I don't really want to take that chance. So, what do you have for me? Is this a habit? Yeah. So now every time we get hit, we get three ticks of charge for our spacebar item, and that's great. Because that means every two hits, we get a D6 reroll. So now that I've taken a deal with the devil, I absolutely cannot get an angel room this run. And I'll see what's up in this here room. Nothing. We don't have to take damage to go in when we have the uh, when we have flight, only to leave. So that makes curse rooms even more worth it than they already are. So I think we're done here. I'm probably not gonna reroll that. It's not special. I'll just take it. Forever alone. Uh, you can tell both by the color and by the direction that the like parentheses things around it are facing. So that's just going to be a long distance orbital that will not block tears, but it will damage enemies for two damage, and it hits pretty frequently. Maybe every frame. I'm not totally sure. So I'm done here. All right, curse of darkness again. So I'm glad I didn't buy that compass. I guess Guppy's paw. We'll definitely touch. And then, since we're here, give it a reroll to the Pact, which will give us two Soul Hearts, a Damage Up, and a Tears Up. And it'll change our flight effect to that of having wings, because that's just what it does. Fine by me. Okay, we've got a beggar here, I like that. Yeah, I also want the purse, because that allows me to hold two trinkets, and that means that I can keep Cancer. Yep. These orbitals are heroes. I love them. I have nothing to reroll at the moment, since I already took that stuff. Uh, it would be really nice to get scapular, of course. I always want scapular with a habit. But this whole Curse of Darkness thing that's repeatedly happening? Not fun. When did I get all these bombs? Where did those come from? Oh, there was another um, bomb maze room. That's right. That was a thing that happened. I remember it like it was yesterday. When in fact it was today, and that means I should seriously get my memory checked out. Brain scan or whatever. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna... Ugh, oh, you butt. Come on, what? Alright. Excellent. Oh. Okay, this is Depths 2, I don't want to go there yet. Oh, but I should use the Joker card, just straight up now. Don't want Brimstone. Um, alright. That's what I was afraid of. That's definitely what I was afraid of. Ugh. I don't like that. I need a health up and I need to be able to get back here. First, let's see if it's a tinted rock. It's not. I'll take the tail. I'm not going to sacrifice all of my soul hearts this time. We'll see what happens. Uh, have I gone up yet? No. So I'm two-thirds of the way to being guppy, which would be wonderful. But I'm not willing to make the required sacrifice, because there's no, there are no soul hearts or anything for me to guarantee my safety. It's also not early enough in the game that I feel like it's a worthwhile risk. Earlier, er, okay, I do want the Guardian Angel. It's another orbital. It'll do the same damage as the Cube of Meat 7 to all enemies it comes into contact with. Uh, and what it'll also do for me, basically, is just cause everything to rotate around me about one and a half times as fast. So I went that way. Now's the thing. 
Went this way and that was a thing. Okay, that's where this ended up. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this floor right now. What I need, I guess, is box from the boss. Oops, that was really bad. Can't afford to do that. Ah, oh, I knew you were going to turn around again. I don't think you should have turned around there, though. Okay, get the... Comic, the not kamikaze fly, the attack fly in there. Oh, I love when they get stuck in those things. Eh, thank you, Orbitals, for stopping the charge. I don't know why that hit. Too much money and no money equals power. Wonder if you realized that game. I have 69 cents, however. Uh, I don't think there was another mini boss, so I guess I'll just fight greed in this shop. As expected. All right. No item, which was kind of what I was hoping for. I wanted an item. I was also hoping for a red chest there. Also, I could be holding two trinkets right now, but it really doesn't matter. I don't need the speed up from that. I don't think there's been another offer since I've gotten my stuff. Guppy's tail, by the way, will increase the chance of chest and golden chest dropping and decrease all other drop chances. So I like it. When I have this many keys, it's totally fine. Normal challenge room. We'll still check it out. If it has an item, I would really appreciate uh, an item in general. It's not an item and there's not even the possibility of an item there. So I think we're done with this floor and we can finally go fight the boss. I'm not feeling too confident right now. But the only thing I could have done better here is um, not using the Joker card until after that fighting the boss in case I got health up. That was really the only improvement I could have made to the general way I handled this. And that definitely would have improved it since I would have been able to reroll and get both of those items if I got health up. Dang it. I meant to not do that. I was going to stop. Meat. Health up and damage up. So yeah, it um, does ruin the fact that I would have had Polaroid invincibility on every hit. But I need it. I'm just going to not get hit much and it's going to be fine. Game's frozen, so we wait. In fact, I'll drink some water now. Haven't done that in a while in a video. Alright then, still waiting. I love waiting, don't I? Ah, wonderful. There we go. Now just don't freeze again, Isaac. You can do it. Oh, we did it. And it was a normal old floor, no curse or anything. That's what I don't get. Like, why do you do this, Isaac? Who do you think you are? Alright. Heart. Heart, please. Okay, and then is there an item in here? No, of course not. Hey, we can actually see the map for once. Oh, dang it. I cannot afford that. I just did it again. Oh, God. Here we go. I guess I wouldn't have done it again there if I hadn't um, taken meat. And that's just more money. I really don't need that for me right now, Isaac. I think I'm going to die. If I had to just take one educated guess, I'd say that this powerful run has carried me item-wise, but not in really any other way. Okay, that should kill you, and then hopefully, yeah, we good. I'm really hoping for just soul hearts from these a little more often at all. So, this floor, last boss item. Hopefully a good one. Health up. I like that. Not death. Conquest? I would have rather fought death by a long shot. Conquest is, like, the worst. I hate Conquest as a boss. Yeah. But our powerful setup has definitely done wonders against him. And we actually managed. Okay, um... Touching that allows me to reroll it, by the way. I didn't think so. Save me. You didn't save me at all. 
No tinted rock. Alright, we're going to build up a reroll for this because I could really use it. <sighs> Ideally, none of these rooms should be too tough. I, of course, have taken damage on this floor already, so I might not know what I'm talking about. Okay, Super Troll Bomb, you don't scare me. I'm faster than you by a long, long ways. Alright, being powerful is nice. I fire quickly and I fire powerful shots. And the further away I stay from enemies, the better I'm going to do with them. So it's just, it, it's a good setup. It's just a matter of I need to uh, get more health. Which is what I'm hoping Conquest's drop is going to reroll into. So let's get that to happen. If you'd please. Oh, I totally dodged that. Oh well. So there goes our soul heart, but hopefully we'll get a uh, super bandage or something that would really help out. Devil room is gone. Health up, I'm just taking it. I'm leaving though. <sighs> God, I don't know if I like this run anymore. And another Curse of Darkness is incredibly inconvenient, that's an just so true. I mean, it's not like I have map or compass, though, so I, I'm only missing out on the fact that I know where I was going. Fool teleports me back to the spawn. Oh, God. So that might come in handy, I guess. Probably not, though. Okay. I'm hoping I'm going the wrong way, since this is a long, branching path. I should hopefully be able to get where I want to go. If not right away, then very quickly from right away. Okay, well, it's not there. Uh, I'll damage you with those dudes. This way, please. Maybe. It's possible. Good use of shot angling. Yeah, that's what we needed. I knew that wouldn't hit me. Tears up. Sure, I don't think my tears were maxed. Now we fight. It lives. Which I think should go pretty alright. I don't know if I have a chance in the cathedral, but I'm going to have to go for it. Three orbitals. I may not have the health required. Uh, like, certainly not. But... I like, uh, I like my odds with three orbitals and good damage output. And slowing. I don't think I really have a chance, but I might have a chance. So I have to go for it. No Curse of Darkness is good. Um. Oh, I thought I'd slip through there, honestly. So now I'm down to my three hearts. In here, we don't have an item. How could you, Isaac? Why do you do this to me? Fires could give me a soul heart. There is nothing that I need more than that. Okay, there's no reason I want to play that. I don't have any way to support that decision. Stop moving. Kaboom. Okay, so now I want to play it twice. Since you can double play them. Just so I can get to the half heart. So I get Polaroid Invincibility if I get hit down that far. So we might have a better chance now. Sadly, we didn't get a blood bag. That would have been really, really preferable. But you can't win them all. Now can you? Okay, we're gonna be fine this room. Yep. Key and bomb is good. I like these things. I'll get back to it. And that was the wrong way anyway, so I'll definitely get back to it. Another bomb. Another bomb. Here we go. Come on, be what I need. That's not what I need. And famine's also a jerk. Famine, don't be a big jerk. You know you don't want to be. Ugh. By the way, Famine has no health bar because he doesn't have high enough health to earn one at this point in the game. Okay. Nope. Chance to get a compass effect when you enter a floor? Pretty bad. It's 25% and I've only had it activate like twice. Definitely not an item I enjoy, or a trinket I enjoy. Especially not compared to the two I currently have. That was my own fault. At least I didn't get hit again. 
Okay, so let's see what that heart is over there on the far left. I wasn't, I think it was only a half heart, which is inconvenient, but I can always blow up the blood donation machine. So if we can make it to the chest, we need a lot. We need quite a lot to have a chance. But I don't think we're going to make it out of this floor. Okay, two half hearts is a full heart. I'm cool with that. So there we go. Optimal health at the moment. But I guess we'll see what happens. I think the right has to be the right way, hopefully. It could be up or down, but I really, really hope it's not. I hate this boss. Okay, no hits there. And dead. Dead quickly enough that it wasn't a concern. I really wanted an item, but having that extra little heart there of reassurance of insurance is nice. I can't believe that hit me. Oh my god. Can't afford this, me. Me, you need to do more better dodging. So we grab this. Get that insurance cashed in, basically. Melt Gertie Jr. Is that a normal chest? Yeah. Come on, we can get the one. If I can get to the boss at full health, I have a shot. Well, full health being optimal health. The health I'm at right now. <sighs> okay, there's the boss. This is an easy room. Should be able to do this very simply without taking damage. Bob's rotten head. Don't touch it, because we could get it again. Reroll to the quarter, you funny game. I can afford to take the two hits it would require to get a reroll for that. But even if I do... I'm just going to save him for the chest. Alright, so so far this is going exactly the way it needed to until that very moment where I just got hit. Gish, do you think? Oh, okay. Uh, here, here's uh, the boned part. I could teleport out, but then I'm no better off because I'm still going to... I'd have to fight this at one heart instead of at three. Right. Just don't spawn any more angelic babies and we've got this. Come on. Half heart doesn't help me at all. But we did make it. Polyphemus. Not special, so no reason not to pick it up right away. But is it too little too late? It's looking like it. I need something to give me health. Really badly. None of these things are good for me at all. Blow this up for raw liver. Just this once, I'll take it. I'll do it this time. It probably won't be enough. But I'll do it this time. I don't take respawn items normally because I'd rather just lose the run if I die. But today, today I'm taking that chance. Um, good, Lust is dead. It doesn't really matter which one we kill last. Okay, that gets us another chest to use. Game kid. Chances of getting a room that that's good to heal us in? Very low. Okay, this room should be so very doable it's insane. Alright, there we go. One dead. Gets us another reroll. I hope I don't need that one up. Almost did there, because that thing lasted forever. Dr. Fetus, this has been showing up so much lately, and I don't know why. I don't want it, because it's bad. Well, it's not bad, but it's not fun. So I'm not going to take the knife. The bra's really good. Sacrificial dagger, I'm not going to take, because it might, uh, it lowers our defense, essentially, since it doesn't have to block tears. It just can. So I'm not into that idea. War. You want to calm down? I know you do. You did. 
There's my soul heart that was guaranteed because of the blue boss. And I'm kind of full clearing now, aren't I? Which is weird. I don't know why I'd be doing that. But it's what's happening, I guess. Can't stop me. <sighs> nope. Triple Loki made short work by uh, my setup. Which is quite powerful. It's just a matter of the fact that I don't think that I can really beat Blue Baby with this. Even if I die and respawn, I think that I'm pretty boned. I thought that would hit me. Oh, well, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Wizard. Sometimes they just don't blow up as soon as they're supposed to, and I just reap the benefits, I suppose. Mr. Mega, I'm going to take now so it doesn't show up from my reroll in there. <sighs> now, here's the thing. Mom's Raw plus Mom's Knife, pretty much a win. No fun. Relic, too little too late, but I will take it just in case, since I am apparently doing all of the rooms here anyway, I may as well. I definitely don't want the, um... Charm of the Vampire. This is just annoying, it's bad. More likely to just ruin my Polaroid invincibility and not help me then. Save me. What? Okay, that, that hit. Alright, now we dodge. What? That was an extra foot! And I got hit because I'm stupid and dodged in the wrong place, and then I perfectly got a heart at the right moment. That was definitely an extra foot, though, and I don't understand why. Why would you do that? Skeleton key and speedball, neither of which are worth my time take. I'd rather have two items to reroll in the same place, for sure. Alright, I need to not take damage like I just did. I need to try not doing that. God, you're not helping me. This is also really scary. Alright, he drops the troll bomb there. Drops the troll bomb there. I really desperately need health right now. Hey, hey, yeah. Pills could be good. We'll just see what it is. It's tears up that might still have an effect. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't really want to use the fool, but I'm going to do it now. I don't think it matters. Lucky foot? No. $3 bill has the potential to be terrible, so I don't want it. The fact that I'm still alive is kind of insane. Okay, dodge that. Dodge that. Kill the husk. Number two. Optimal health. With a soul heart. Thank you, Relic. Oh, wow. Oh, I love this. This is a beautiful moment. I love getting them stuck. So, you know what? We're going to do that again. If we can. Now we're not going to do it again, I guess. That's okay. Think I need your tricks? Okay. That gets me this. Which is a thing. I'm gonna go reroll in the spawn room. I'm gonna go back for the top secret room where the AIDS poop won't be there anymore. That's kind of the reason I left instead of going there immediately. Yeah, definitely. Both of them. I think we now have a chance. I'm glad we didn't need the one up. I'm really, really glad. I didn't want it at all. I only took it for that insurance just in case maybe I'd have a chance to redeem myself. But it's looking like I won't need to. bloody penny. How about not? It's funny that I full clear the chest on this run, and not on some of the more powerful runs I've had recently, that uh, probably would have had an easier time, but I felt more questionable with them, and for some reason I don't with this one because I'm crazy. That's literally the only explanation. Alright, this is a nice room that I can deal with very simply. Chest. Scapular, that's good. Gets me another soul heart if I get down to half of a red heart. Which could save me. It's five more seconds of Polaroid invincibility, since I'm definitely staying at the half heart. Another reason not to take Charm of the Vampire, because it's awful, and would ruin that. <sighs> okay, so every uh, every room is only one item to reroll. So I have no reason 
to worry about which room I'm doing stuff in. Alright, flight makes this room really not an issue at all. Very, very easy. As we can see, bombs are key. Eh, I probably won't end up using that. Hmm, okay. Don't want to fight Gluttony first, I, or last. I don't want to kill Gluttony last. Simply because I'd rather not get full health since I have this delightful perfect setup as far as health is concerned. Pretty much. Can you die already? Thank you. Ten bombs. Why not? Let's do it. I think we've got a pretty good chance. We've got good damage, good fire rate. Well, still having good enough damage to offset that fire rate. Slowing from Little Gish, we've got Mr. Mega to increase the blast radius and damage of our bombs, as well as having given us five extra bombs, which was nice at the time. I think we've won. Look at that. Get at me. So let's give it one more reroll just in case we see a forget me now, but I'm pretty sure I saw that in the uh, Devil Room already, so it's impossible, because it's only in one pool or the other. And we get the contacts. That would have been really nice to have earlier in the run. Like, right then. But any time earlier would have been really good. Because freezing enemies with a chance. And that means we probably would have been able to pretty much stun lock Isaac or, well, and Blue Baby. So we're done. We did it. I'm impressed with the way I handled that chest. I am. Maybe you're not, but I feel pretty impressive with that. I hope you enjoyed the run. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.